with Transcorp Hotel that has declared a dividend of 2.05 billion naira, amounting to 20 kobo per ordinary share as the final dividend at the close of the 2023 business year. This was announced at the annual general meeting which held in Abuja. Helen Osamedeye came to report. Transcorp Hotel PLC demonstrated remarkable resilience and concluded the financial year of 2023 strongly despite its persistent inflationary pressures, heightened economic insecurity and the substantial cost associated with operations. The group recorded an impressive growth revenue of 41.5 billion naira, showcasing a substantial growth trajectory that outstretched the previous year's revenue of 31.4 billion naira. The company's stock price increased by 1,000 22.9 percent from 6.25 naira on January 1st, 2023, to close at 70.18 kobo on December 31st, 2023. It is projecting a better outcome in the year 2024. But we decided to also retain some because, just like the NBC has told you, we have some events where capital expenditure projects we are carrying on. Uh, one of which is behind us here, the event center, 5,000 capacity, the biggest in Abuja. And um, already we are, we, are, we are finishing that project before, you know, uh, the last quarter of the year. We are, as Nigeria right now, losing business to neighboring countries, Ghana, um, Egypt and Morocco. We want all businesses, all events similar to that size to actually come to Abuja. And so it actually ensures that we're able to employ more people and even deliver so much more in terms of value to all our critical stakeholders. Maximization. Shareholders take tones to make contributions on how it impacts their investments. The value of the dividend might not be that much, but they have a lot in stock. If any shareholder could exercise patience with them over time, they'll begin to enjoy Luft 2 dividend over time. From Kobo Kobo, they should move to Naira Naira in the year 2024. Transcorp Hotel PLC share price growth was significantly higher than the hospitality industry average movement of 4.4% and the market average movement of 7.4%. Helen Osamede Ikins, TVC News, Abuja. Insurers say safety net is guaranteed while mitigating losses in economic downturns and preventing losses of assets. This assurance was given during the fitness work of the members of the Chartered Institute of Insurance Institute of Nigeria in Lagos. Abimbola Akintaju covered the event and brought back this report. Insurance is a safety net that protects us from unexpected events such as accidents, illnesses, or natural disasters. Many people are still unaware of the benefits of insurance. Members of the Chartered Insurance Institute of Nigeria embark on a fitness work to create more awareness of the importance of insurance penetration in Nigeria. This year on happens to be one of the fantastic ones that we ever hosted in the sense that the turnout was massive and we took the movement from Guinea insurance and here we are in name insurance. We build up comradeship, companion and networking. It's a means of asking our members that they need to be fit even for the job that they are doing. We want to cultivate uh, um, the idea of exercising our body so that we'll be fit for what we're doing. Then it's also an opportunity for every com all the companies, member companies to come together and bond. So it's a means of bonding. Apart from that, we create awareness because there's no way the whole lot of the people that you have here are on the road and people are not asking questions. <laughs> Practitioners here want more participation from the public to grow the industry and improve the numbers. Insurance should be a lifestyle because in every circumstances which we pass through, we face uncertainty. The only thing that is certain about the world is uncertain himself. And therefore, insurance as a catalyst of economic growth is required in every sector in every way of life. We are all exposed to risk in one way or the other. 
whether by the way of the things that we own or even our lives or the family that we are trying to raise, we are all exposed to risk. And there's no point managing your risk yourself if there's an, a, uh, an institution that is set up and that is designated for that purpose. So it's a risk transfer mechanism and because anything that you cannot afford to lose, it would be nice for you to put a price on it and then place with us. Insurance may not be a popular topic, but it is an important one to achieve a more financially secure future. Wrapping up, the Nigerian Exchange Group has announced the final dividends to be paid to its shareholders following excellent financial performance in 2023. If you have attended the AGM and brings back this report, we'll be back with Sports News. The Nigerian Exchange Group PLC has opened its full year financials 2023 to its shareholders. At its annual meeting in Lagos on Monday, the group showed an excellent record over the previous year. Total revenue grew by more than 57%, while a final dividend of 75 Kobo per share was announced as an addition to the interim dividend of 25 Kobo per share paid earlier. The outstanding performance of the group is largely accredited to strong figures posted by various subsidiaries of the NGX group. We have seen the way the market capitalization of this our market has gone up and been one of the best in the world. And I believe the result that we have declared today and the dividend we have declared today is a demonstration that we have come on board. Since the demutualization era that we have started, today AGM has demonstrated that we have reached the maturity level. The only thing is just like for us now to continue and sustain what we have achieved in 2023. The outstanding performance of the group is largely accredited to strong figures posted by various subsidiaries of the NGX group. Today in our markets, there's a very big swath of Nigerians that we haven't really attracted into the capital markets, the young, upwardly mobile Nigerians. These are Nigerians that consume digital assets, that consume you know, uh, digital assets or securities. Uh, and these are people who really just speak technology. So we're saying first and foremost, before we even talk about digital assets or product diversification, let's find ways through a digital journey, a digital transformation journey to connect with this class of investors. Company managers are assured shareholders of dedicated services that will bring higher earnings in the years ahead. Meanwhile, deals on the floor of the NGX ended negatively as sales pressure continues. Index was down by 0.22%, indicating losses on investments. Key trade losers in the market included Dangote Sugar, CAP, Beja Paint, LLX, and Academy Press. If young Ecop TVC News, Lagos.